Now at 6, robbers arrested the couple accused of threatening people with gas bombs turned into police by people they know. It was family members who saw them on TV and turned them in. The couple was seen at two restaurants and a convenience store saying they'd set off gas bombs if workers didn't give them money. CBS 4's Gary Nelson is live for us at the Broward County Jail in Fort Lauderdale with more on the arrest. Gary? Well, this duo is in Broward County lockups tonight and will be going nowhere anytime soon. Their relatives turned them in after police very quickly got their images out into the public for fear they might kill somebody. Robert Golden, a self-professed drug addict, police say. So I'm going to appoint the public defender. And his pal, Tiffany Sears Patowski, hauled up on robbery charges. This pair has been dubbed the gas bomb robbers under arrest after relatives saw video of them on TV and turned them in. Security cameras show a man and woman enter a Denny's on Commercial Boulevard in Oakland Park Sunday, a clerk emptying the register amid a strong smell of gasoline, police say. Golden carried a bottle he allegedly said was filled with gas and brandished a lighter threatening to ignite it. And obviously these people are making very bad decisions. They could have easily set themselves on fire. They could have set the cashier on fire. They could have burned down the whole restaurant. Later Sunday, the same pair, cops say, robbed another Denny's in Hallandale, this time producing a note claiming they had guns and gas bombs. In these court documents, Sears Patowski is quoted as saying she and Golden were homeless. She only recently came to South Florida to attend a drug treatment program, but went back to the dope, apparently. Tuesday, police say security video captured the pair shoplifting at a Hallandale 7-Eleven. Relatives of both both saw them on TV and called the cops who picked them up today at this complex where they had crashed at a friend's apartment. You'll be held without bond, sir. Golden was ordered held today, no bail. The court does find proof evident presumption great today. As was Sears Patowski as the duo faces charges carrying up to life in the slammer. Police say both gave detailed confessions saying that their crimes were driven by addiction to heroin, cocaine, and flaca, an LSD type drug that causes its users to behave, well, crazy. We're live in Fort Lauderdale. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. All right, Gary, thank you.